Yes, wonderful. My name is Dana Abercrombie from the coalition. Thank you so much for speaking with me. This was an adventure. I love this. It had felt like so many different genres at one. So my question is kind of for everyone on the panel. Um, basically, what I was wondering was, what do you feel that was essential to, because this is based on the, a bunch of a book series, what did you feel that was essential from the adaptation, the book that you wanted to bring to, into your character with this adaptation? Uh, Stephanie, you could start. Okay. Um, yeah, I believe it's it's based on a couple of short films from Crypt TV. Yeah. And, um, what's really great about the the show is it's definitely inspired by these uh, short films and um, kind of took the original storyline and totally expanded it into a whole universe. So um, you, even though it is based on those uh, short films, it's, um, you know, it has a whole soon new set of characters with Misha mm -hmm. and Sophie and uh, all of their parts. Sorry, I, I left out the A on your name. I said, <laughs> Sophie, yeah, it sounded, mm -hmm. like, it sounded like I was had an accent, but I don't. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I love about I love about it is they um they took this amazing concept from these short films that got a lot of views and people really love the stories and they totally expanded it and kind of created mm -hmm. this whole world that also includes all of these cool topics, you know, gender identity and and envir environmental issues and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they Casey uh, our head writer did an incredible job kind of bringing it to life and, and creating this whole world cool. and was there anything yeah sorry oh go ahead <laughs> no 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 it's the g sophia oh yeah no just to add on to that um i really love that um, we actually had a lot of room to bring ourselves to this um of course it's inspired by uh the short film but it it really allowed us to kind of introduce new topics into the story while still staying true to the original storyline and mm -hmm. um kind of giving it more. I think that a lot of people are going to um, relate to this and see themselves in our characters. And that's really my, my dream is that everyone kind of can find a piece of themselves in the show and understand that like, it's messy. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not a glorified high school romance teen show. It is very much this is how it is. We also fight monsters and that's just their reality in the show. So I really like that they gave us room to kind of explore that and introduce that. For you, Misha? Uh, no, I, I, what, what excites me so much about this is that it comes from such a, like a very specific short film property, but they expanded, like Stephanie was saying, the universe to like, you know, my character wasn't in the short film and to have both uh, a team like Kristen Ritter and Jacob Chase, our directors and Casey, our writer, but also to have like these two to play with and really just build a human that I would be proud of and that I would want to fight monsters alongside of it's, um, it, it was amazing. It was a playground in that way. Right. Now for Sophia, your character has a monologue, Dasha has a monologue in the show, which basically says that you need a distraction from everything. Your mom recently died and, and so you just need that distraction. Do you view that because how Carrie came into your life as that distraction as to why you helped her or was there something genuine there to begin with? Well, I definitely think it's genuine all around. Um, Tasha definitely has a very true loyalty to those she loves, um, but 100%, I mean, this girl invites her over to a sleepover within the first five minutes of her, you know, knowing her. It's, it's very much, um, you know, Nolan and Tasha are kind of two peas in a pod, but the outcasts of their town, and Carrie is this new, like, amazing warrior human who just blows her away, and Tasha just can't get enough. She's definitely um, interested in her and, and very awestruck and, and, and just excited. But I do definitely think that she has a very real genuine love for her. And for you, Stephanie, you play Carrie. I was wondering, you're from this, they consider it a cult. I have, throughout the whole series or even just in general, did you ever think about what your life would have been, what Carrie's life would have been had she not been in a cult and how that would have impact or if she even would have a relationship with Tasha? Yeah, um, hmm. 
I think uh, throughout filming every day, we were kind of like, whoa, Carrie probably doesn't know what any of this stuff is. Like she's mm -hmm. never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or pancakes or all of the food that she eats in the show. So that was kind of, I, I guess, something we thought about a lot. Um, but uh, I don't know. I Honestly, I mean, the only reason she was birthed was because she was in the cult and that's where her parents were. So I'm not mm -hmm. quite sure what her life would be like otherwise. Um, something that's interesting is her mom left the cult when she was a kid and that's she always has this curiosity with the other world because she was told her mother was a, a betrayal but um I think it, it's interesting that Carrie Carrie really wants to go find her and kind of see what's on the other side so um yeah wonderful thank you so much for speaking with me thank you thank you